3 Baby Haul Videos That We Love Hi parents, here are 3 baby haul videos that we love seeing and we think you love them also. Take some tea or coffee, get comfortable and start watching these 3 baby haul videos now. Let's begin. Baby Haul Video 1. Gender Neutral Baby Haul. By Jess Pham. Baby Haul Video 2. Hey guys, today's video is going to be the gender neutral baby haul of like all of the stuff that we have for the baby so far that is like gender neutral. So it looks like a lot of stuff on here, but it's really not a whole lot. This is pretty much everything that we have. We have like a couple other things, but this is the majority of the stuff that we have for the baby so far. So I'm gonna kind of just go down the line. This was not bought all in one shopping trip. Some of them were gifts and I will go through and like explain who got what, when, where, and all that stuff. But I guess I'll go ahead and start over here. The main thing that you're gonna notice is that we don't have like hardly any outfits so far. So this is like literally pretty much all the outfits that we have. Um, this I got from Target and it is the Carter's brand and this was one of those things where I was just like, it's so adorable. Boy or girl, doesn't even matter, it's just super cute. So we did get this and then this was a three pack and this has the long sleeves which is kind of what I've been looking for because the baby is going to be born in November. But this comes with three different onesies and again newborn. Pretty much all the stuff that I've been buying has been like newborn or zero to three because I figured Anything after that, like that's bigger than the baby, like when it's born, is gonna be bought according to what gender it comes out to be. This, like I said in one of my videos, a lot of the stuff that we have are whales, and that's just like pure coincidence. That was not really intentional. There's just a lot of gray things that have whales on them, I guess, which is cute, I guess. Just, I don't know, it just was kind of weird to me at first. So, this is one of the onesies, it's just green, white with a little whale on it, and then this is just a plain onesie that is yellow and white, and then this one I love so much that I got the sleeper with it too, but this is a onesie as well that has like the mint colored whales, and then like the yellow whales, the gray whales, the white, and that's pretty much all with that. So, like I said, I got this as well. These are, these are size three to six months, and I think the only reason I got that size was because it was the last one that they had, but it's the same brand as this one. They're both the Circo brand. Both got it, or got them both from Target, and this is like the footy sleeper sleeper ones. And then on the other side as well, it just comes with a cute little outfit that says "I'm new here" with like the mint color and the gray. And then it comes with this little beanie also, and these little like striped pants. So then this outfit up here, these did not actually come together. This was what I bought for the pregnancy announcement. It's actually a preemie size, which I highly doubt this baby would be able to wear because my babies usually are pretty big, but you never know. Um, it's just a gray onesie and I bought it as a preemie size so that it would fit into the Easter egg from our announcement. These are just these little leggings with like the teal color again and the gray and the white and it's just like a nice neutral color. I got this beanie before the pregnancy announcement as well, I believe. So these are just things that were like quick purchases in the very beginning of the pregnancy. I mentioned in several of my pregnancy vlogs and I, I don't know if I said it yet in this video, but um, you're gonna notice that like the majority of the stuff is gray and yellow, and that's because like if you can tell, our room is gray and yellow, our bed stuff is yellow and gray, and then that's the kind of, that's the theme that we're gonna stick for for this baby as well because the baby is gonna be in our room for a long time. So we got like a white crib and we got the gray bedding, which is right there. I'll get to that, but so yeah, you're just gonna notice that a lot of this stuff is gray and yellow, and that's why because that's kind of the theme that we're sticking to. So this is just a plain yellow and white um, crib sheets, not really anything special, got it from Target. And then these blankets I talked about in one of my pregnancy vlogs recently, This, it, these were both from Ross, especially since the baby's gonna be born in winter time. These will definitely come in handy. So there's this little whale one with the yellow on the other side, and then there's this little like patterned gray and yellow one as well. These are some receiving blankets that we got so far. This pack I mainly bought for this one right here. I just really liked that receiving blanket, but these ones are cute as well. And same with this one, I just like the gray and I like the yellow, um, but obviously receiving blankets you use for like anything and everything, so you definitely can't have too many of those. And then this whole set I just really like. It has the elephants and the polka dots and the stripes and it's just all gray and white. So over here, 
This is something that Chris's mom actually got for us. She has gotten us probably the most things so far of like all of our family members. So she got us these little like jeans and these little socks. And she got us these little booties as well. And they're just like these cute little white booties. These are all stuff that Chris's mom bought for us as well. Just like green is like the, like the typical, like you can't go wrong with it, boy or girl. Same with yellow, I think. This whole set was definitely very gender neutral. So she got us like everything in this set. There's like these little sleepers and these little like burp cloths and these little towels, hooded towels, bibs, and some onesies as well. And then she just got us this little pack of like the multi-purpose. They're just like cloths. You can use them for cloth diapering, which I don't think anybody really uses these for anymore, but you can use them for like burping, changing. They're kind of like the receiving blankets also. This is another fitted crib sheet that I got from Target yesterday or two days ago. And this one is nice because it's like plush, so it's super soft and it's just gray, so it matches the bed, the bedding as well. These two are blankets and these are actually hand-me-downs. So a friend of mine gave me these and I figured this one's very gender neutral. This one I would use for gender neutral. I don't know if every, everybody else was. It does have pink in it, but it's just such a cute pattern. I couldn't say no, it's so adorable. These are the Tula brand and the way that they feel is just so soft and like comfy. So she gave me these and said that if I would use them that I'm more than welcome to have them. And so, yeah, I just think they're super adorable. This set as well is from Chris's mom. And again, it's just like the little sleepers and these little flannel blankets, kind of like the receiving blankets and these onesies and these little beanies as well. And it's just tan and white. Again, just another like neutral color. I think she's just like super excited about buying all the stuff. She's just buying like literally everything that she can see that's gender neutral. So definitely useful. And then over here as well, this is from Chris's mom as well. And it's just like a little teddy bear, super cute little teddy monkey. And then these are the big items that we have so far. This is the bobby pillow that we bought. It has the chevron gray and yellow, or gray and yellow, gray and white on the side. And then on the front, again, it has those whales. We just really liked the colors of it and like the chevron print and stuff, but the whales are cute also. And it's definitely gender neutral. So that's one of the big purchases that we've made so far, as well as the crib nursery set. So this one is from Target. It is a four piece nursery set and it comes with the comforter, the crib sheet, a crib skirt, and a fleece blanket. And then I do have the sheets as well. And then I wanna put like added yellow touches to it because this one is just mostly gray. So once it's set up and everything, of course, I'll show you guys. This again is from Chris's mom and I thought this was really cool. This is just kind of like a, a mix between like a bouncer and a bassinet and it's really cool because you can like fold these sides up. I've never seen it before, never even heard of it, but she got it for us and we'll definitely use it, I'm sure. And then this is the thing that I was talking about in my most recent pregnancy vlog. This is the Rock and Play and I had one of these with Landon and it literally like saved my life and I just fell in love with this pattern because you can tell it's yellow and it's gray and it just matches everything perfectly so we went ahead and bought that this is from Target it's the Fisher Price brand so yeah and that is actually pretty much everything that we have for the baby so far like I said we did purchase the crib it's not set up yet but once we get everything set up I'll do like a room tour slash nursery tour for you guys once we get everything up and ready. I know that everybody's been wanting to see what we have for the baby and I know it's not a whole lot, but like I said, once I have this thing, I just wanna like go shopping right away and just buy everything for it, him or her. We are still gonna buy some little necessity things like maybe some binkies and other little things like that. And of course for the home birth, that's gonna be a whole nother shopping trip in itself. This is what we have so far, but that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Baby haul video two. Newborn must-haves. Splurge worth baby essentials 2020 by Father Craft. How much are you willing to spend on your sleep? Well, for that matter, how much are you willing to spend on your baby? A lot? Great, and this video is for you. Now, not every expensive parenting gadget is worth the money, but I'm gonna walk you through the ones that are because money doesn't grow on trees. I said every dad everywhere. Hey guys, it's John from Fathercraft. This is our video guide to the best splurge-worthy baby products, newborn must-haves, and baby essentials. And this video will also announce our biggest giveaway ever, ever, ever. However, you're going to need to stick around to the end to get all of the details. What I can tell you though, is that this giveaway is valued at I gotta, I gotta do some math real quick. One plus one, plus two, three, the geometry, two times equals sun. Hot damn.
$2,617. Woo, doggies, don't go anywhere. One more thing, there are links to all these products below in the description for your shopping convenience. And also, when you do click on them, you help support this channel, so check them out. Also for your convenience, we've timestamped each one of these products, so feel free to jump around the video as well, but do be sure to check them all out. Okay, starting with everyone's favorite robotic bassinet, the Snoo. Oh, it's new to you? Don't worry. If you don't know what the Snoo is, then you've most likely been living under quarantine for the last four months. The Snoo is a responsive baby bassinet that boosts a baby's sleep by combining gentle rocking with soothing white noise and snug, safe swaddling. Gives a gentle jiggle to your baby and a not so gentle jiggle to your wallet. Unlike a regular crib or bassinet where you place your swaddled baby on the mattress on her back and hope for the best, with the Snoo, you actually clip your baby in, which means this ultra secure swaddle prevents her from rolling to an unsafe sleep position. Now the Snoo retails for $1,300, and that's a lot of money for a baby product you will only use for max six months. But if you're planning on having more than one kid, then maybe you can look at it as an investment and amortize it across multiple children. Now I'm no financial guy, so I have no idea if that makes sense. But what does make sense is that Snoo also offers a rental program that's definitely worth looking into. Moving on to Wi-Fi baby monitors. Now it comes at no surprise if you've seen any of our videos on baby monitors that our top choice is the Nano Plus because we feel like it's a jack of all trades in the Wi-Fi monitor space. It provides thoughtful and useful sleep insights tailored to help guide you on getting your baby the best night's sleep possible. It also monitors breathing and has outstanding picture and sound quality. The app is also extremely intuitive and easy to use. One downside though is that if you are into breathing monitoring, the Nanit Plus requires the use of their customized sleep sack or belly band. Now if that's something that you're not into, then we also highly recommend the Miku. Coming at 399 bucks, it is one of the more expensive monitors on the market, but it's chock full of impressive tech and can also monitor breathing without the use of any wearables. We also recently released our best baby monitors of 2020 video, so check it out here, I think, or click the link below in the description. Okay, the next item on our list is the Hatch Rest Plus. If you're new to parenting and annoyed by all the dumb product names that tell you absolutely nothing about what the item actually does, then this next splurge-worthy item is not going to help. What it is, is an extremely versatile device that acts as a nightlight, a white noise machine, and an audio monitor wrapped into one sleek and handsome looking device, if you're into goose eggs. The speaker on this thing is quite impressive and can blast 11 different white noise options, including three lullaby tunes, and the super-powered nightlight feature can emit any color within the visible spectrum, like a mechanical nursery DJ at your baby's private rave. Did I mention that the Hatch Rest Plus is Alexa-enabled? Well, it is. Although in our experience, it can be a bit cumbersome to get Alexa to do what you want. Please try a different color. Honeydew. Sleep timer started for Calvin. Okay, while we're on the subject of Hatch products, let's crack open the Hatch Grow and take a peep at its features. For all intents and purposes, this device is a glorified scale that you can change diapers on. If you're into charts and trend lines, then this app is for you. This app charts and tracks measurements for weighing, feeding, sleep, length, and diaper changes. It's also Alexa enabled, so you can easily record these entries without opening up the app while you've got your hands on your baby. When you weigh the benefits, it's a splurge worthy item for sure. All right, this next item may be the epitome of a splurge item. And I'm talking about the Newton crib mattress. Now, hay was good enough for the baby Jesus, but it's probably not for your newborn. So a crib mattress is essential. The Newton crib mattress has a woven air core, which according to their website means it's comprised of 90% air and 10% food grade polymer. So when they invented the apocalypse, you can eat it as a last resort. It also means it's 100% breathable. So if your baby happens to roll over or has her face pressed against it, she will theoretically still be able to breathe according to Newton's website. It comes with a removable mattress cover that's machine washable. And if you need to, you can hose down the core if anything happens to make its way into the spaghetti-like material. It's exponentially more comfortable and quieter than your average crib mattress. <laughs> Loud quiet and it can also be used as a transitional mattress as your baby moves out of the crib into a bed which definitely helps with swallowing the 300 dollars price tag okay the next item on our list is the baby brezza advanced formula pro now this thing is basically a keurig for baby formula despite its near 200 dollars price tag this product is a definite must-have the baby brezza pro automatically dispenses perfectly mixed formula at the desired temp you can set using its sleek looking digital readout so this digital readout lets you control several different things like setting the powder setting setting the water temperature selecting the number of ounces that you want to dispense and also a variety of other warning symbols 
For people who primarily formula feed like our family did, having this tool in your house saves so much time and headache. Moving on to moving your baby. Now the Kalugo Complete Stroller is just that, complete. I've used this stroller quite a bit now and I really like it. It's extremely sturdy and it's easy to maneuver despite its size and maintains its easy to open and easy to close capabilities I love with the Kalugo Compact Stroller. It's super sleek looking and the vegan leather wrapped handlebar makes handling a breeze and puts my climate change conscience at ease. It has a forward and rear facing seat, 175 degree lie flat option and is car seat compatible, meaning it can safely stow your newborn or your toddler up to 55 pounds. It has a spacious cargo area that can hold up to 22 pounds and is very easy to access. It also comes with a cup holder and a rain cover at no additional charge. There's also a complete travel bundle option that comes with the car seat and a base made by a company called Cluck, or Click, Cluck, a car seat adapter and an infant insert, which allows you to place your newborn in the live flat option safely and securely. Now this option is going to run you around 795 bucks, but if you're not looking to spend that much, you can purchase these accessories individually as well. So Kluge also happens to make our favorite baby carrier the Kalugo Baby Carrier. It's extremely lightweight and super comfortable, and it comes with one of my favorite features I've ever used on any product ever, something that we like to call magnetic buckles. So this means that the buckles magnetically lock in place, and it's magical. This feature helps make the Kalugo Carrier really easy to use, and when you add in the fact that it's uh, so lightweight, it becomes an excellent travel option as well. And on top of that, it has a bunch of hidden pockets and compartments, so you can carry everything from your phone to your bespoke pocket notebook and pen. No splurge list can be complete without mention of what we've been calling the daytime snoo, or popularly the four moms mamaru. It's a combination of a swing, a rocker, and a bouncer all in one that also happens to look like it belongs in an episode of the Jetsons. The mamaru has five motions that are meant to mimic the way in which we hold our babies. The Mamaru also has a built-in sound machine that includes sounds like rain and waves, but it can also be connected to your phone to play whatever music you like. All this adds up to this. You can, when you need a break from gazing into your baby's eyes while holding her, put her down for a bit while you do super cool stuff like dishes and laundry or eat ice cream out of the freezer. Okay, let's move on to travel cribs. Look, I know what you're thinking. I'm not gonna be traveling anywhere anytime soon. And you're absolutely right but that doesn't mean a travel crib can't be insanely useful. Here's the thing though, many of them just suck. Now there are two travel cribs that stand head and shoulders above the rest, the Nuna Sina and the Four Moms Breeze. Honestly, there are pros and cons to both, but you can find our detailed comparison and review on our website by clicking the link below. However, it's hard to go wrong with either one as they're both awesome in that they one, open and close very easily, even with one hand, two, provide great ventilation, three, are designed with safety in mind, and four can be converted from a bassinet for newborns to a crib for older babies. Pretty sweet. All right, well, we made it. I made it. Just kidding. That was fun, wasn't it? Well, which one of these uh, newborn items are you most excited about checking out? Are you thinking about splurging on any one of these? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. You can also drop any questions you have about these items in there as well, and we'll do our best to answer them all. Also, if you like this video, can you do me a favor and either poke, tap, or smash the like button? Uh, we would appreciate it. And also, also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. Now, I'm sure the reason you're still here is to hear my in-depth analysis of whether money doesn't grow on trees is the greatest dad joke of all time. Maybe we should do one of those bracket style contests for dad jokes. You know what? I'm mostly kidding, but I think that's actually a pretty good idea. Here's the deal. We partnered with five awesome baby gear brands to give away a splurge worthy baby essentials package valued at over $2,600. One winner will get a snoo from Happiest Baby, the Nana Complete monitoring system, a Kalugo Complete stroller, a Baby Brazil Formula Pro Advanced, and a Newton Baby Crib Mattress. Ah, damn, that's a lot of stuff. And we picked these companies for the giveaway because their stuff is awesome. We personally use it all here at Fathercraft. So here's how you can enter. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Don't worry, it's awesome. In fact, YouTube recently awarded us the best puns in the baby reviews game, Golden Orb, and we're extremely proud of that. Okay. No, they didn't, but if they had the ability to, they probably would. Step two, and this is important because if you don't do this, you can't win because we won't know who you are. Go to fathercrap.com slash contest and enter your email. We'll be picking the winner on September 1st, 2020. If you're watching after that date, don't start crying. You can still probably win some awesome consolation prizes like a Nana Plus. So head on over to fathercrap.com slash contest to learn more. This contest is open to US residents 18 years or older. For all the official contest rules, see the description below. Okay, people, that's it. I will see you in the next video. Baby Hall Video 3.
Baby Products I Love by Cami Carter. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a baby favorites, baby necessities kind of video. Just products and things that have saved me being a first time mom because I am still getting the hang of things. Um, I'm still, you know, trial and error with so many products. So I just wanted to share my favorites, things that has worked for me that I think might work for you if you guys are expecting or if you guys just want to try any of these products out. A lot of these are like baby basics, which I feel like that's what I should name this video is baby basics, you know, like swaddles and pacifiers and stuff like that. But again, it's trial and error with swaddles, it's trial and error with pacifiers, literally everything. So I'm just going to share with you what works for me. What works for me might not work for you and that's totally okay. Um, but yeah, I just really love these products that I'm about to show you. So before this video starts, I do want to say that this video is in partnership with Bye Bye Baby, which is crazy. Bye Bye Baby is like every mom's dream store because they have everything. When I was pregnant, the first thing that I wanted to do was find a Bye Bye Baby and go into the store. I remember the first time I went in there, I was like, where do I even start? They have clothes, they have car seats, diaper bags, nursing stuff, like pregnancy things. They have so much stuff. Um, and I, I seriously, when they wanted to work with me, I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's like my favorite store. So definitely check them out. They have an app. I believe they have curbside pickup. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that they do. But yeah, if you guys don't want to go into the store, I know the world is crazy right now. Keep your little ones safe. Uh, get on the app, get online, whichever. So everything I will be mentioning in this video is on Bye Bye Baby. So I will do my best to link things. If I forget something, let me know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. I wrote a list last night just to think of products that we actually like cannot live without, Gray and me as well. The first product that I would highly recommend is the Hatch Baby Sleep Machine. This machine, I think I like it more than Gray likes it because I am somebody that has to have a fan going when they sleep. Like I have to have noise and fun fact, Austin hates when I put it on this noise, but I love the washing machine noise. I just love the ch -ch -ch. I just love that noise. So I always put that on. I would, I cannot sleep without it. I don't know about Gray, but I cannot sleep without it. That is a lifesaver for me because before Gray was born, I would sleep with a fan like right in my face, but obviously I can't do that because you know, Gray's right next to the bed. So, and I really just use it for the sound anyways. So I'm talking to them about how I keep the hatch machine on the washer, on the washer sound. That's not a washer sound, that's static. Oh, it's TV the static. static. Yeah, it's the static sound. Hey, let's say hi to everybody. Ooh, big girl. <laughs> say hi. I don't know what happened to her head right here. Say, we didn't even get ready today. We didn't brush your hair. We didn't put clothes on you. Huh? Say hi. I love you. But anyways, yeah, I really love the hatch machine. I emphasized I love the hatch machine, but it's also really helpful if you guys are trying to get into a sleep routine. I would really recommend associating things with your baby's sleep. So like bath time, she knows it's bedtime when she gets a bath and she knows it's bedtime when she's swaddled. She also knows it's bedtime once we turn that hatch machine on. So um, we really love it. I really love it. It's great. You just click Gray's room, our room. So you can turn it on, you can turn down the volume and stuff, turn the brightness on or off. I like to keep it off, I just like the sound. This next thing, I'm not gonna show too long because her boogies are in it. It's from Frida, Frida Baby, Frida Mom. Um, it's the nose sucker. I personally do not use that, but I will say ever since I got that, her nose has been so clear. I can't put like the little, um, like actual nose things that you squeeze and like the silicone things. Um, she's crying in there, he's, she's, he's changing her butt. We have a guest for today's video, but um, anyways, anyways, yeah, the nose sucker, I don't even know, the Frida, Frida baby, um, it's really great. So Austin is the only one that sucks her boogers out because I'm scared of that thing, but that thing is so powerful for what it is. Um, it gets all her boogies out, doesn't hurt her, so all you do is you put this thing in her nose, you just blow the boogies in here, and it's really great. It's the only thing that i found that, um, really gets her boogers out. Okay, let's talk about swaddles because I feel like there's so many on the market. Um, when I was searching for swaddles, I could not find like set in stone, like this is the best swaddle to use because there's so many amazing brands. Um, I will say when she was first born, we put her in these Swaddle Me swaddles. They've got a bunch of cute little prints, but um, she just now grew out of these probably a couple weeks ago. 
These are really great. A lot of people don't recommend them because they are Velcro and your baby can bust out of them. Your baby's gonna grow out of whatever swaddle you put them in. These were really great. They held her arms down um, and she was really tight and cozy in here. So I really did love these. She broke out of them probably, um, probably around two and a half months. Um, she started to not like to be being swaddled in here and I realized that she wanted to move her arms more. So we put her in this love to dream swaddle. Um, this is, she's also grown out of this one. So, um, I got to get a bigger size, which that's really great that these come in like different sizes. We really love these. They have some feet room in there. Um, sadly she's grown out of this as well. Uh, right now we are just putting her in just normal PJ. She's just not swaddled at all anymore. I forgot what I was talking about, but these were really great for the amount of time that we used them. So when she was like born born, like right out of the womb, uh, we put her in these little, I don't even think they're swaddles, they're just over knotted gowns. These are also really great. Um, she sadly never got a chance to wear this one, but these are really great too, easy for diaper changes. I have this electric nail filer. I have never tried to clip her nails with actual nail clippers, it just scares the crap out of me. Even this at first, I was like, oh my gosh, but this does not hurt them. Even if you get it on your skin, it doesn't hurt at all. So this is really great if you guys are super nervous about nail clippers, clipping your baby's nails. These are great. And then you have like these, these little files right here. Oh, they're all getting messed up. But as they, as your baby grows, you like go up with the nail files. So moving on to feeding, um, you guys know I posted um, some photos on Instagram explaining you know why we aren't breastfeeding anymore um she just really could never latch so i ended up switching to exclusively pumping and i just now gave it up um just because i, I explained it more on that instagram post but um anyways blah 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 she's on formula it's working great for her um but when we switched to exclusively pumping i needed bottles and i wasn't sure what bottles were great, you know? Um, everyone recommended like Advent bottles, everyone recommended um, Tommy Tippy. Um, none of those worked other than Dr. Brown's. I don't have like the actual bottle, but I have the parts. And if you guys use Dr. Brown's bottles, the only thing that's super annoying is you have so many parts to wash, but these are really great. So this little guy right here kind of stops the flow of the milk and it doesn't like drown them in milk. So. Um, or actually this helps with air but that also helps them, you know, not choke on their milk and stuff like that um, We really really love dr. Brown's gray just gets a better eat from them feed from them. So um, these are really really great speaking of You know on the formula side um, we got the baby Brezza and That thing has been a lifesaver. I know making formula is so easy. You just put the water and then you know the formula uh, but at night um, when she's like screaming her head off, all I have to do is press a button. It's already mixed. It's already warm for her. It's not as chunky too. So you know when you like mix your formula, you have like little chunks in your bottle. The baby Brezza just really, it's just a really nice flow of formula and water. It's not chunky. Uh, there's no air bubbles in it or anything. So we we have been really, really loving the baby Brezza. I know, so I know I shared it on Instagram as well. I'm just having a party over there on Instagram. But I shared on Instagram that we were using the Baby Brezza and a lot of people were like, it didn't work for me. Um, we got a really nice one. I know it's like hit or miss with Baby Brezza with the amount of like formula and water. I know sometimes it's off. Um, I, I can't really tell, but she seems to be getting a, a good feed. We really love it. It's super easy, super convenient. The only thing that sucks is, you know, washing it every like every three feeds. You have to wash it. Yeah, we really love the Baby Brezza. It's been really great for us. So wanted to mention that if you guys were on formula gonna go on formula it's not really necessarily something that you need it's kind of more of a want but I wanted it and it was it, it was great great so this thing I didn't want to put in the video because so many people have their opinions on this product but it has saved us I will go more into depth about Grace's sleep schedule how she sleeps what has helped for us like I said, everyone is going to, you know, have their different opinions on products, but we absolutely love the Docatot, okay? You can, if you don't like the Docatot, you can do the Snuggle Me. I know that one's really great, but we just have the Docatot and we love it. It's just, it's perfect. And like I said, I'll go more into depth about how we use it in another video, but the Docatot is really, really great if you guys were thinking about getting it. Another product that we recently have been using a crap ton is her little, um, I guess, I don't want to say it's like a sit me up, 
I don't even know what they're called. But um, like when I'm cooking dinner, Gray likes to see us and she doesn't like to think that we're like not in the room with her. So when I'm cooking dinner, I'll set this little chair on the counter and I'll just stick her in it. It doesn't move, um, it's really sturdy. So we really love it. We just sit her in it while we cook dinner, while we eat dinner, or while we just need to clean the house a little bit. Um, it's got like little toys on it so she can play with it. We absolutely love this thing. We put her in it every single day um, while we cook dinner and just get stuff done. So another thing that keeps Gray busy is her little, um, her little play mat. We got this and we absolutely love it. She, I feel like it, it's really taught her how to use her hands cause she'll grab for the toys and everything. Um, we love this thing. We layer on it again when we want to get stuff done. Babies need to be occupied by multiple different things. So if one thing works for like an hour, put her in the other thing that works. So we kind of we kind of switched throughout like the sit me up. I don't even know what's called like the little chair thing, and then the play mat. So we absolutely love it so much. It's great for tummy time as well. But speaking of tummy time, I did buy a little tummy time mat because she needed to be elevated. We don't use it as much as she should, but. Um, she really likes it and I feel like tummy time is a lot more easier with a product like this. Another product that we loved, and I say loved as in past tense because we don't really use it anymore, is the Boppy. So I have the Boppy and I also have the Boppy Lounger. Those are two completely different things. The Boppy pillow was really great, you know, for breastfeeding when I was and um, just to like sit them up on. But we really used it when we went home so that Gray could meet our family. We used it for Austin's grandma, which she like she needs a little bit more help holding Gray, so we just kind of stuck it um, around her so that she could hold Gray properly. So that was really helpful. Um, and the little kids, when little kids wanted to hold Gray, um, we would just put the boppy on and have um, Gray propped up on that, and uh, the kids could hold her and all of that stuff. So the boppy was really great. Really, breastfeeding was the main thing I bought it for, and I think that's what it's for is for breastfeeding. I wish I would have brought it to the hospital. Actually, we did bring it, but we didn't bring it up to the hospital. And once we were in the hospital, we couldn't leave because of COVID. Um, so we never could grab our boppy pillow. And I wish I would have had it in the hospital because I was constantly asking Austin to put pillows underneath my arms. So I see a lot of these burp cloths in people's videos. And I'm like, yeah, those are great. But the reason why I don't like these is because, okay, so you put them on your shoulder, you know, whatever. Uh, sometimes gray spits up so much that this is not enough fabric for me. I need like a blanket for it to burp her. Um, so we had a ton of these muslin blankets and these, well, these are actually swaddles, uh, but they're just like really thin, not super stretchy. So we did use this for a while, um, before I realized that I need, I need more. I, this is not enough. So I switched to these as burp cloths and they have been so great. Okay. I know like this is a lot of fabric for burp. But I need, I need to have her right here. I need to have more fabric access to like to clean up her spit. If, if it's on me, I need more. I need more fabric to wipe it off of me. So this is this just ain't it, okay? I can't do the little burp cloth. I need something big like this. And I feel like no one talks about that. I haven't heard anyone that does this. But I I need a whole blanket for a burp session, okay? Last thing I want to talk about is pacifiers. So we have so many brands of passies and. Honestly, we haven't even tried any any of the other passies that we have. She loves the bibs passies, so those have been a lifesaver. Um, we really we really like them. I like the shape of the passy because it's not too big, it's not too small, and she can have a good grip on it. So we really love it. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I do want to say we did get a wipe warmer, or not a wipe warmer. We don't have a wipe warmer. Um, for some reason, my baby is broken, and she loves cold wipes. She. Like if she's crying, she'll immediately stop when the wipe hits her butt. I don't know. You hear babies not liking wipes because they're cold, but my child loves cold wipes. Um, bottle warmer is what I was going to say. I was on Twitter the other day and this girl posted things that you do not need as a first time mom and a bottle warmer was on there and I was like, what? I use a bottle warmer every single day, okay? I used it more when we were heating up my stash of breast milk. Um, because just the sink wasn't doing it and then you'd waste so much water. So having a bottle warmer was amazing. You do have to watch out though because sometimes it can make it too hot and then you have to wait to feed your baby like 10 minutes so it could cool down. And 10 minutes is a very long time for a screaming baby, I will say. It's a very long time. So I learned my lesson. So yeah, that is, that's everything that we love. 
Um, like I said, I'll try to leave everything linked down below. Let me know in the comments what you guys are loving, what has saved you as a first time mom or just a mom in general. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for Bye Bye Baby for sponsoring today. Still cannot believe it. That's just so crazy. I will leave their website linked down below as well as everything else. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.